to ask uh, who benefits. Uh, clearly, it's not the Syrian regime or the Russians who are benefiting, and I believe it's highly unlikely that either were behind what's happened. Uh, there are different possibilities. Uh, one is that all of it is fake news. Uh, the images, uh, the videos, the information all come from opposition sources and not from any credible independent journalists. It's also possible that uh, the pictures show the aftermath of a, a, a bombing attack which happened to hit a, a jihadi chemical weapons munition dump. We know for a fact that the jihadis were storing chemical weapons in schools in eastern Aleppo because these were seen later by Western journalists. Uh, this is one distinct possibility. Nevertheless, those that take it at face value are raising once again the issue of intervening against the Assad regime. Exactly. Uh, we never learn, do we? Iraq, chemical weapons, remember that one? We were stampeded. Uh, Aleppo, we were told that there was a holocaust going on. Massacres didn't happen. Independent reporters went in afterwards and saw no evidence of massacres. What we did see were, were fighters being bust out quietly. Uh, and we, we discovered subsequently that a lot of the footage was fake. There are also uh, those who say, OK, we are where we are now, but uh, intervention, particularly in 2013, might have changed things. Well, it's not profitable to discuss the, the, the what might have uh, been. Um, personally, I, I think it, it was correct in 2013 not to intervene on the side of the jihadis. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I suspect that most uh, people, uh, when they thought about it for a second, would ask themselves, well, what's going to replace um, Assad and the secular regime, which is protecting minorities, Christians, women's rights? Uh, I don't think the Islamists would have been a, a better uh, bet, and that is even more the case today. Remember that Idlib, where this happened, is a, a, a rat's nest of the most extreme jihadis. Dogs returning to their own vomit. Uh, they made all these mistakes. Iraq, uh, Libya, uh, they never learn, and they would like to reproduce the same scenario in, in, in Syria. Uh, fortunately, the Trump administration uh, moved only last week, and this may be significant here, moved only last week to disown the Obama policy of trying to unseat the Syrian regime. Trump's people said, uh, we're more interested in unseating uh, ISIS. That's our priority. Um, and it, you may think it's significant that this, this attack comes days after that. Uh, now, if the jihadis wanted to complicate uh, Trump's task of making America's policy more sensible, they wouldn't have gone about it any other way than trying to mount a piece of fake news like this.